Okay, this is the top of the year, January 2017. Happy New Year to you all. And I just wanted to show you how uh, we added annotations at the end of our uh, presentations on YouTube so that we can get some subscribers. So what you're going to do first is go into your video manager and then there's a tab marked annotations. That's the section, I'm sorry, in screen and annotations. So you select this area and we've already have a page here where we're inviting people to come that's already a part of the video. But what we want to do is add annotations so that uh, folks can just click right on through. So what you'll do is you'll add your element. I'm going to select subscribe because that's what I want. And then here's my image that coincides with the account uh, under Gmail. All right. Now, this will only allow us to go through. It won't even allow us to save this because the system is looking for um, another video. All right. And this increases your chances of subscribership because um, you want folks to look at all of the videos that you have. So what uh, YouTube is doing is trying to maximize uh, the count on, and the views on your videos that you've already presented. So we're going to go back in, we're going to add an element and I'm going to add another video and I'm going to select choose a video or playlist. They have their, um, oops, I'm sorry. I am going to choose best for viewer because YouTube has been around for a little bit is the number one uh, search engine online um, and they know what they need to do behind the scenes uh, with their algorithms in order to select the best possible video uh, that your customer or your viewer wants to see. So we'll create that. It works on it and then we get a little message here because my pretty little face is gone <laughs> and what we need to do is to add or create space uh, between the elements. So I think it's a good idea to leave the video exactly where it is and just bring down my avatar here and this should do it. And not to worry about uh, this because the video will pop up towards the end of the presentation. What I do want to do is to make the subscriber button a little bit to come in a little bit earlier. So I'm going to push this here towards the beginning and let's just preview to see. Okay, that's not helping me out. Let's preview. There we go. Bong. All right, so that's how you set that up. It's quick, fast. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is live TV, people. This is how it works. But uh, this is how you actually get your subscribers up and running. Uh, one thing I did notice here, it actually stops the subscriber button. You see how I disappeared here? So what I want to do is just extend this all the way out because you want that invitation to be extended throughout the presentation, okay? So let's just look at it one more time. Bam. Bam, ba dam ba dam ba. Okay, we're done with that. Now we're saving it. And people, we are cooking with gas, it's all good. So what am I going to do? I'm going to click on this. Bada bing, bada boom. Go to the end. Uh, one second. Yes. Yes. And it is accomplished. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at us. And we'll talk to you in a little bit. See ya. Let's stay in touch. Follow us across social media at ECM Groups. 
Also, subscribe to this channel so that whenever we upload new information, you'll be among the first to know. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.